All right, what is going on, party people? Um, yeah, as you can tell, I'm in Toronto right now, visiting family. Um, I did not know three hours time difference is such a huge difference for me. So I woke up at like 10.30 a.m. I've never woken up this late, um, naturally, obviously. Uh, yeah, it was weird. I slept like fucking 12 hours last night. It was great. But um, I have brunch in about 30 minutes so i had to shoot this video but anyways today i wanted to talk about industries where i think it'll be resilient to um the ai overview update um let's talk about it and to the people who don't want to see me eat creatine they don't want to see my revenue update for some reason i'll include a chapter down down below and so you guys can just skip through it um a lot of you guys complaining even though you're just receiving free information. So check your privilege. All right, guys. Anyways, um, let's do this. Uh, right. Fuck. I just smacked the shit on my mic. Oh, God. Sorry. Forgot uh, creatine doesn't travel well. Here we go. Chunky as fuck. Mmm. All right, let's go. All righty. So yesterday we did 3.8K in total revenue, uh, about 2K in Amazon Media Vine at 1,054 and OnlyFans at about $700. OnlyFans should be recovering a bit more. I wonder if they're scrubbing clicks. Um, I don't think they would, but let me chat with them because rankings are back, but clicks are not. Let's check. Um, what else do I want to talk about? Let's look at the granular details. So like the actual numbers behind the revenue. All right, cool beans. Um, order revenue yesterday, 37.8K. Multiply that by 54 to get our rough estimate of numbers. Um, don't let this number fool you. I did get clapped slightly. Um, I'm still seeing, trying to see the damages behind it. Uh, but yeah, we'll keep you guys posted. Levanta yesterday, I guess we're back. Um, went from $16 to $115 in commissions. Fucking weird, but I guess we take that. Also, I got to stop swearing. There was one video that got like 600 views because I swore a lot in that video. Or maybe the title just wasn't great. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, let's get on with today's episode. Guys, first link in the description. I, I'm not sure about the title just yet. Uh, yeah, but yeah, let's talk about today's episode. Sign up for the first link in the description and then you can get this reference sheet. Today is episode 186. Don't get it twisted. And uh, today, what we're going to talk about is um, the Google AI overview. So what industries will be safe from it? If you guys don't mind, do me a solid comment, Google AI interview for the YouTube algorithm, just so I can rank for it, you know, doing all this work, trying to brute force my way to 100k uh, subs. It ain't easy out here. All right. All right. So here's what I think might be wrong. All speculation. I have no data points to, well, some, but yeah, just pure speculation because it's fun you know it's fun it's fun to speculate so before you come after me saying this guy doesn't know what he's talking about maybe i don't but i think it's important for us to chat about it and see all right um what i think is safe local seo i think the snack pack will stay as it is as of now they might change that in the future but as of now is a-okay we got rank and rent because I think local won't be touched just yet. Mostly because I think the AI overview might be for keywords over a certain threshold of search volume. <clears throat> Not sure yet. That's just what I think. YMYL niches, like, I don't know, can you drink alcohol when you're pregnant? Imagine AI gets that wrong. They're going to get clapped, right? That's why... Um, Travel sites, I actually think travel sites will do well this update, <clears throat> mostly because when people Google best places to visit in, I don't know, like Santorini or some shit, we're not trying to read an AI article about it. We're trying to read people's like experiences behind certain things. That's why I think Google might swing that way for travel. That's personally coming from me personally as a traveler. I do see the current um, SERPs and it is dominated by soulless articles. So 
maybe this is wishful thinking. I don't know. But um, things that are clapped, I've talked about it this several times in the past. I've asked you guys, I've urged you guys to offload your sites. Um, but yeah, here's what I think are clapped. So pro programmatic sites, for example, what is three divided by 14 in percentage? Shit like that. Or info content sites like can dogs eat lettuce? Shit like that. Because when I Google something, think about the intent that someone has when they're Googling three divided by 14. They're simply looking for an answer. Or what time is it in Toronto if I'm in 8 a.m. in PST? Shit like that. You know, you just want an answer. You're not trying to read about other people's experiences. There's no caveats. There's no um, requirements for personal experience. You know, same thing with can dogs eat lettuce? But, 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 but there might be like some safety concerns because you don't want your dogs to be dying from like eating chocolate and shit, you know? So I don't know. I think just like thin info content sites that you're, SEO courses have been teaching you probably clapped. So just, just keep in mind, um, be mindful. What I'm personally going to work on is probably not much at all. I'm probably going to just be playing RuneScape and streaming SEO in the near future. Um, and, 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 and huge underline, huge underscore, huge highlight is partnerships are still working right now. I'm not going to talk any more about it because several of my partners still getting clapped to this day manually. I don't know how they're finding it, but it is what it is. But partnerships are still ranking. So the fact that they have to manually penalize means they can't find it. And the fact that my other partnership sites are still ranking means Google, like Google truly does not know what they're talking about. Maybe I shouldn't, you know, ruffle their feathers anymore because uh, I should just like shut my mouth. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I think it's just funny though. It's funny. Also, for for the people who hasn't who haven't read my futurism article yet, the Google imp there's Google spokespeople who commented on me mocking them. It's pretty jokes. I'm gonna include it in uh, in the sheet anyways. It'll be pretty jokes for you guys to read it. Um, but yeah, let's answer some YouTube comments now. All right, so uh, I added the link to the article here. Um, I think it's a pretty good read. You guys should check it out. Uh, video comments. Let's let's chat about that. Yesterday's video did very well. I guess I need to talk about breaking news. You guys don't care about my other shit. Uh, so be it. So be it. Um, thanks, Jackie. Really useful getting a Google AI overview from your perspective regarding the starting ritual creatine plus revenue update you bring so much value and it's your ritual you should keep doing it just the fact that you're doing a revenue update is invaluable gives us perspective starts fire under our asses etc thanks it, google ai overview do you plan on releasing an organic local sop without gm without google my business on the advise community yes i do um frankly it was on my list this week but i'm traveling today uh, let me see if i can get to it today uh, I do have some time in the afternoon. B7 at Google AI in overview. Thank you very much. Thank you. Much worse than you think. Data show that 80% of indexable sites were eligible to be featured snippets, while with AI overview, it's not even 15%. So not only will you have to work on your SEO, but you'll also need to figure out how to get included in the new SGE. Agreed. Um, I'm just... So my overview, so my numbers from yesterday assume that Google is reporting things honestly. Um, but yeah, super helpful as always, Jackie. Have you have any videos on how you would do rank and rent? I've searched but can't find them. Yeah, I did videos on rank and rent. I also did um, like a uh, step-by-step step case study with Physio East Vancouver. I don't know where it is. Can someone comment the episode number for him? If you guys don't mind, got to run soon, but let me see what minute. Okay. So I got, I just have to do three minutes. All right. I discovered rank and rent. That is a network of several rank and rents that all link to each other. How has the mighty hands of Google not clapped this man into the sh shadow realm? That's a crazy statement. Um, 
Yeah, I think uh, Google doesn't. They actually have to manually penalize. So I don't. I'm actually. I don't think they're. They know much. Um, that's why they haven't been clapped yet. The great Google AI clapping. That's what I'm saying. Thank you. Um, how much of an impact do you think AI overview will affect local SEO? I talked about it today. Not much at all. Google AI overview. How, what can you p potentially do to recover towing lists? So um, TN probably found that towing list was one of my directories in the past. Uh, I guess I can talk about it since it's been clapped to, clapped to zero. Uh, what can I do to recover? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not like so much in the game anymore. Maybe I'd partner up with a local like a US based newspaper and then just move the directory into the newspaper. That would work for sure. You don't have to 301 it. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd be interested to see towing near me. Let's see, uh, who ranks for towing near me right now. Towing Toronto, Yelp, towing LBC. Guys, this is all fucking, sorry, sorry. I can't, I can't swear. This is all, um, this is all ranking rents, by the way, just a BT dubs. All right. So I don't know what you guys are talking about. This, this, this is easy. This shit is easy. All right. I know. Mean, oh, fuck it. I'm just going to swear. I can't, I can't contain myself. Uh, anyways, that's it for today, guys. Like the video, subscribe to the channel and comment Google AI overview for the YouTube algorithm. I still don't know what the title is going to be. So just like figure that out. You guys are SEOs. Figure out the keyword. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take it easy.